I have been not being so obedient. I've been supposed to come up here every weekend to do prayer and pray, um, praise and worship just to show people what it looks like to be intimate with God. And I ain't going to lie, I didn't want to do it. You know, ever since I came back from sabbatical, which was like break from like doing ministry work online, God has showed me, God was showing me in my fast what he wanted me to do, you know, when I got back online. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to share that intimacy that I have with God, with everybody. But I say, you know what, Lord, because it's been like on my mind. So usually when God is pressing you to do something, you better get it done. And I, I shared on my YouTube, you know, months ago that this was what I was going to start doing every week. But then I had to talk with God and, you know, you can't make an idol out of things. So being on social media too much is not good for me. That's why I literally come up here. I post what I need to post and I get off. I don't be up here just scrolling and I, I don't do too much of that. But um, at this morning, I wanted to pray with uh, the prayer of salvation for whoever, because I noticed that it's a lot of new people coming to my page. God is leading you here for whatever reason. And my whole goal in life, get these people saved. <laughs> okay, get them saved. I, you know, my desire is for you to have a relationship with God. It's not about religion and those people with those religious spirits who just want to beat your head over, beat you over the head with the Bible. And you know, no, it's about simply having a relationship with God and you know, letting Him love on you and learning how to love Him. So tonight, well, this morning, it's five o'clock in the morning. I I'm, I'm, I came early because I got stuff I need to do today. So I'm like, let me do this early. So we are going to pray the prayer of salvation and then do some repentance prayers. Um, I wanted to, you know, do like, usually when I pray, I was gonna, you know, do like a, a, a praise and worship set, like just show y'all how I, Literally had my intimacy with God, but I don't have time this morning. Um, every first Saturday, and, I, and I'm not doing this every week. It's, that's too much of a commitment. So I'm going to do it once a month. Every first Saturday of the month. Saturdays are Sabbath day, which you should be given to the Lord anyway. That's your rest. The Sabbath day is your rest. And I'm not doing this every Saturday. So it'll be the first Saturday of the month, um, you know, for people and everybody don't go to church. I, I'm one who my church has not been open, so I haven't been to church. But let me tell you something. The church is outside of the four walls. A lot of these churches is full of the devil. OK, so you got to even pray about what churches you going to to get fed from, because a lot of these churches is not real right. But um, it starts in your, with your heart, your heart posture. And being saved, it starts with your heart posture. You know, God is looking at your heart. He's not looking at the things that you do to look saved. He's looking at your heart. All right. So we're going to start with the prayer of salvation. And if you just come into agreement with these prayers, God will do the rest. One man plants, the other man waters, and God, he will do the rest. So this book I'm reading from is called Prayers That Work by Kevin L.A. Ewing. When I tell y'all they work, they work, okay? All right, this is called The Prayer of Salvation. This is the pr first prayer in the book. And each, every time I come up here live, I'll start with a prayer. And then, you know, my praise and worship literally looks like me on my knees. Or I'm dancing to some worship music, you know. I'm just telling God how much I love him. And I'm, you know, I get in my groove. You know, sometimes it's a, we having a good time. And sometimes I'm just on my knees, on my face, crying out to God, you know. 
praying for other people, praying for myself, telling God what's going on. He already knows, but he just wants you to come to him. He, you know, just about a relationship, just like you would go talk to a friend or a family member that you're close to. God wants you, God wants that closeness with you. So the prayer of salvation to be saved, we're going to start with that. Dear God, I believe that you sent your only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so that, so that by believing in him, I can be forgiven of my sins and be redeemed because his innocent blood was shed for me. I believe that it is only through his death on the cross and resurrection that I can be made right with you. I confess, Lord, that I am a sinner and in need of a savior. I believe that Jesus Christ was the sinless sacrifice that died to pay the price for his for my sins. And I believe that he is the only person who was qualified to die for me. For he alone lived a sinless life and died as an innocent victim. Thank you for loving me enough to send your only begotten sinless son to become a man so that he could offer himself as the perfect lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Thank you for loving me and dying for me. Help me to live a life that honors you in thought, word, and deed. Father, I repent of all my sins and I turn away from the, and I turn away from them to Christ. I pray that you would keep me holy and set apart for you as I seek to live for you. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior. Amen. And if you pray that prayer, as well as come into agreement, my friends, you are saved. You are coming into agreement with what God has for you, which is salvation. It is free. And repentance repentance is not something where you just say god i'm sorry and then go back to your old ways god forgive me and then go back to your old ways no repentance is you're gonna make mistakes nobody is perfect but repentance is you just you're telling god that you want you want out you want to turn away and yes you may still make mistakes but you have a made-up heart to follow god to want to change to say i'm not going back to what i used to do i'm not going back to how i used to act and the things i used to do that is a sin against god no it's saying like lord i'm making this decision to turn away from my sins and i need your help i need your help and god will help you you are still going to make mistakes because none of us are perfect we were born into sin so you're still going to make mistakes but it starts with repenting asking god for repentance daily and just starting to you know, walk with God. Ask God, Lord, create in me a clean heart. Renew my spirit. I ask God that every day, okay? Because I need to be renewed every day. This is a battle, okay? We battle, and like, not up against people, not up against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness, okay? In dark places, it's a battle. And every day, you have to, you know, stay in a race, God said that those who endure until the end shall be saved. All right, so the next prayer that we are going to do is the prayer of repentance. And, um, you know, after that, I'll be back next month on a live. I'll be back next month, the first Saturday. And I'm going to also do like some praise and worship with y'all. Like, I'm going to, you know, show y'all what my intimacy looks like with Christ. And you have your own relationship. You, you will have your own relationship. So God will lead you into, you know, how to serve him and how to love on him. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, prayer of repentance. Heavenly Father, you, now, you know the depths of my sorrow over my sin. Even though it's painful, I know this sorrow is a gift of grace. I would far rather be aware of my sin and mourning over it than to be oblivious of it and self-satisfied because awareness of it is the first step towards confessing it, repenting of it, forsaking it, which is leaving it behind, and turning back toward you. I thank you for granting me a fresh awareness of my sin before you, O, Lord, o Holy God. 
Not so I can wallow or berate myself, but so I can come to the cross for cleansing. Father, Psalms 50, chapter 51, verse 1 through 18 says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, only you, I'm sorry, against you, you only, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in the tr in truth, in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let, let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and block out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and, and a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach, then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. Do good, in Zion, do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then will you delight in right sacrifices and burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. Father, having believed your promises, I've, I receive your forgiveness. I've recognized that you remove my sins as far as the east is from the west, choosing to remember it no more, according to Psalms chapter 103, verse 12. There are no words to thank you for this grace. It's in the name of Jesus, my Savior, Lord, my Savior and Lord, I pray. Amen. God is so good. Yeah, so that's the end of that prayer. So this book, once again, guys, is called Prayers That Work. And is by Kevin L.A. Ewing. And they work, okay? It is called Prayers That Work by Kevin L.A. Ewing. And they work, all right? So it is powerful, and I encourage y'all all to get it. You can pray along with these prayers on your own. It's a beautiful thing to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, everyone. Um, I encourage everybody to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. I am a servant of God. I am a child of God. I am a follower of Christ. I, I am called to be an evangelist, and I am doing the work of my Father. I delight myself in the Lord, and the Lord gives me the desires of my heart. You know, one thing that I always do, I always ask, Lord, let my desires be your desires for me. You know, a lot of us just be praying amiss, and that's why a lot of a lot of times your prayers don't get answered. It's because you're praying amiss, which is not when you pray amiss, it's not the will of God. Learn to learn the habit of praying God's will over your life. Do you not know that God's will is better than you can ever think or imagine? It's better than what you want for yourself. What God has for you is better than what you want for yourself. Okay, the one who created you, who manufactured you, has the best life for you in store. 
You just got to come into agreement with it. Got to come into agreement. Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let your will for my life be done on earth as it is in heaven. And God will start to let you see miracles. Like I have been, ever since I've been walking with God, I'm telling y'all, my life has changed drastically. And I am so grateful. Um, I will never go back to being who I used to be. And thank God for salvation which is free, okay? Faith without works is dead, so you don't just get saved and stay the same person. Of course, you change from who you used to be, but God will help you do that. You, you, he not expecting you to do it on your own. He not asking you to. You just got to make the decision, make the choice, and I pray that you all make that choice. But once again, I'm going to pin this to the top of my page, and if you want to be set free, God will set you free, and then you'll start to learn about breaking evil covenants and all types of things that God is literally walking me through and teaching me because I am still learning. I am forever, we all are forever still learning, but it's powerful. It's powerful. But I have a blessed day, you all. Love you guys, and I pray, I'm praying for all of y'all. Have a good one. I always forget how to end these things. Um, okay. This is embarrassing. This is sad. How do you witness, y'all? Okay. How do you end the live? <laughs> How do you get off this thing? How do you get off this thing? Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. So, I have...